Hi, I'm Sean Dye, and welcome to another free art lesson. Today we're doing a face in the crowd, and we're going to be using the materials from my Real Art Academy starter set. So if you watch the video uh, that you can get at jerrysartorama.com, you can see what's in the set, and you can see how I set it up. So um, there's also a full-length DVD that's called Loose Figures and Crowd Scenes. So this one is called A Face in the Crowd, and so I have a, uh, a woman who's close to us, and we have some figures that are in the distance that are going to be more abstract, and we'll kind of focus on her face, and we'll support her with some stuff uh, around her that we know are people, but they won't be very specific. So um, I've chosen a piece of paper here that's kind of in a middle range. It's a, a middle warm value. I find this is a really nice color for working with people. And um, I'm going to be sketching with charcoal initially, and then we'll lay some pastel into it. So let's get started. So um, what I'm going to do, this actually was a, a, a crop from a larger photo that I had of a, of a bigger crowd, but I kind of zoomed in. So I've blown her up a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to look at her, her pose. She's looking at the viewer. Her body's facing the viewer, but her, her head is tipping away a little bit. So I'll sort of position her in first, and I'll build the composition around her. So she has a very dark jacket, and that's going to kind of frame her face. And her hair is dark as well. And it was a sunny day in December in Las Vegas, and she has sunglasses on, which are covering up a big part of her face. But they also, and uh, I think they add a lot of character. I'll keep it relatively loose here. I'm using uh, the vine charcoal from the set, so if I make a mistake, it's easy to correct. I can just sort of wipe it with my finger. This paper has a rough side and a smooth side. I'm working on the rough side. It gives me a lot of nice texture. I'll make her hair a little bigger here. So I'm going to move away from the central figure a little bit, and I have some, a person in here who is doing some acrobatics, so I'm going to leave him out. And I've got some buildings in the background. I've got these figures behind her. This woman seems to be blocking her face from the bright sun. So we'll just kind of put them in loosely, and I'm notice I'm changing their scale to make them look like they're kind of going into the background a little bit. And a person walking away in the background here, way far away. And just so I'm going to switch to pastel. Any corrections? that I want to make on her face or her garment, I can change with a pastel. So I'm going to grab a handful of the darker pastels. I'm actually going to take my picture and stick it here.
This is my black pesto. So you can see the little texture that appears uh, because I am working on the, the rough side. Make her sunglasses a little bit bigger. One of the things that's uh, important about these sunglasses is they have this kind of glow inside. You can't really see the, the face in there very well. This is kind of a burnt sienna color that I'm using here for the darker parts of the face. And I'm put a little bit of the light color on the shirt. This is a creamy color. And I wanna, I have two of these Holbein pastels that are a little bit smaller. And there's some nice neutral colors that I can use for flesh tones here. Put some highlights on her face. And I'm going to use the dark, even though this color appears dark in my hand, it's a little lighter than the black. So I'm going to put a little bit of color into her hair so it's not just black. And a little bit of color on the sidewalk. In the background a little bit. darken inside the sunglasses a little bit here. And then take my black pastel and just give it a little bit of, a little bit more detail. So I'm going to give the uh, background people a little bit of detail but not too much there's a little hint of blue sky in the background uh, that's it for that one so um, thanks for joining me. And if you want to see more free art lessons, you go to jerrysartorama.com and you can see my DVD, um, the Real Art Academy um, DVD on loose figures and crowd scenes. Thanks for coming.